Well, hello, this is Jeffrey Cranford from Lynx Players International, and I'm really happy and privileged to introduce over this coming series that we're going to do a very close friend of mine. We've been doing ministry together for many years. He's involved uh, close friends with uh, Marty Jacobus, our uh, lead guy at uh, Lynx as well, and friends, just friends for many years. You know, you get part of that kind of a missional community that you you do ministry with. And so this is Chris Herman, affectionately known as the Hermanator. Let me tell you a little bit about Chris. We're going to get more deeply into this, but we're going to we're going to do a series on the metaphors that Jesus constantly used to give a sense that the faith that we're doing is down in the dirt. I mean, this is not some kind of ethereal, abstract thing way out there that you're just ivory tower kind of conversation. Jesus came down as was prophesied and says, "I'm going to give you." He's going to speak in parables. And how did he do it? Well, the sower went out to sow. Uh, then he talks about grass, he talks about water, he talks about rocks. The prophets talked about these things. So we want to go through some of the metaphors and kind of dove, dovetail that with what happens actually on a golf course. Water hazards, sand traps, rocks, you want to hit it, especially out here in the desert, you can hit it up in the rocks. And we're going to go through some of those things and give you a sense, uh, hopefully give us all a sense, a better sense of who Jesus was and the reality of a historical faith. So. Why did we ask Chris? Well, we would have done that anyway. I wanted, I, by the way, I want to kind of give you a quick update on Jeff Hopper. Jeff was one of our dear friends. We typically do these together. He's struggling when his vocal cords were impacted by the surgery. Many of you were praying for him. He's doing really well. Uh, but Jeff, hey, we miss you, man. We love you, and we're excited to have you back whenever that will be. Uh, even though he's working behind the scenes to actually get back on this uh, and be able to bring these to you on Fridays. So um, anyway, Chris, Chris is by design a landscape architect. That's correct. Tell me what that even means. How do you know what that means? <laughs> How do you know what that means? Well, we, uh, we are trained to look at space and deal with plant material and deal with what God's good earth has given us and uh, make places for people that uh, are, are interesting and fun. And we create things. So we, we create things uh, in a lot of different ways, whether it's your backyard or we park plan or we... We do golf course design. Uh, I've owned a nursery, so many of these metaphors that Jesus used uh, as we owned that nursery and we're standing around picking flowers, we had opportunities to talk to people and, 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 and draw back on some of those metaphors. So I think we'll see some of that this week. Yeah, and we're going to get his testimony in this thing. It's, gonna, it's really, really awesome, and we're going to go back and look at that. couple things. Now, just think about this for a second. So, for instance, Mark 4, Jesus says, tells a parable, and the sower went out to sow. And then he gives all the different kind of soil types. Mm -hmm. uh, he gives different seeds, how some seeds get eaten by the birds, some go in and they produce, but then there's thorns and this. And of course, you see that in your everyday life. I mean, it's a constant, you know, you put water here out in the desert. You put any kind of water out in the desert and you're going to get something. You're going to get weeds, you're going to get something. Yeah. And right now, I don't know if you've ever spent much time in the desert or played like Arizona or here where we actually have to reseed. Tell us a little bit about what's going on right now here in the desert. Yeah. Uh, and it look, it doesn't always look that like that. We go through a process of overseeing. Tell us what that's like. Yeah, so in about a month, it'll look like that. Right now, all the Bermuda grass has been cut down. And what they do is they use a what, what is known as a warm season grass here in the summer. And they need to get it to stop growing. So they, get, they trim it down to the ground for as close as they can. And they throw a winter rye over the top of it, put water on it. And now you have a beautiful green fairway, just like you see behind us. So it's a little bit what God does in our lives, you right? Bet. It's that trimming process. It's like, wait a minute, I, I, I have seen more guys come to Christ. And then what does God come do? He comes in and he begins to trim everything in their life. You know, yep. it's the pruning process. Like, wait a minute, this is not what I signed up for. I thought I'm going to get on God's good side yep. and he's going to bless me. My business is going to get better. My marriage is going to get better. Everything. Well, eventually, but in the early stages to make it look like that, very much you go through the wilderness, you go through a dry. Absolutely. And we're going right now, we enter this late September, early October. Man, it's wilderness out here. You come out here, I thought this was a golf capital, man. I thought, what is this? And you go on these golf courses, they look like they're really, they're cut down to dirt. They turn the water off. They turn, And you're like, what is going on? Well, it's preparing it to look like that. Yeah, and the cool thing about this grass is the roots are so deep that next summer, all that grass comes back and the winter rye dies. And we'll talk about that too. Amazing, amazing. So we're excited to bring this series to you. Um, think about it like this. We have a, an historical faith. We have a faith. It's not about, hey, let me give you some truth tidbits for the future. I think God's like this, or I think, no, Jesus is saying, I am God, and I created this dirt. I created this. 
Uh, we were even talking about one of our Lynx Fellowships this morning, Colossians 1. By him and through him, all things, all things were created. And so we want to get into, if we're talking about the creator and he uses these metaphors, we want to get a little more deeply into what these metaphors actually have for us and how they might be relevant for our lives. Looking forward to it, Chris. Yeah, it'll be great.